Well, hello, and welcome to another minimizing journey with me. I have some things around me. There's a big thing right here, which I will get to in a moment, but I'm gonna talk about minimizing sentimental items. I know that this is really hard for some people. There are a few things that I'm actually keeping, but I might talk about that in another video. If you guys wanna see that, let me know down below or give the video a thumbs up or whatever. I have been purging my home for a few months now and I will link up in a card somewhere um, some of my minimalism game videos that I have done in the last few months and I have been specifically putting these off because I didn't have a plan. Like I didn't have a plan of what I wanted to do. So let's just jump right into it. First things I'm gonna get rid of are two clothing items that I've kept with me for a very long time and they're actually from high school and I do not fit in them whatsoever. I'm not planning on having children. I don't want any of my own. So really the only reason was to like to keep this as well as the item that is in there um, is like for sentimental value to like it'd be cool to like show your kid one day or something. So I'm getting rid of a few things. So this is <laughs> This is like very late 90s, by the way. Um, I uh, graduated high school in 1999, but this is my commencement dress. Is that what it is? Commencement? Yeah, like the graduation ceremony. Clearly you couldn't see it like under my like gown, like my cap and gown or whatever. But um, this is the dress that I had and it's by French Connection, which I think is still like a valid brand out there somewhere. I don't know. It's got the spaghetti straps, again, 90s. And um, yeah, it's like this pretty linen dress, very neutral, very on brand at this point. Some of the other things I'm gonna show you are not neutral at all. And um, yeah, it's got like some stitching and then it's got these like little flowers. And yeah, I had it, I wore it one time, had it dry cleaned and then I hung it up and I haven't put it on since. So this has been with me for 20 years. This needs to go somewhere else. I don't know, like it's about knee length. It's, oh, sorry, you guys can't see very well. Um, it's lined as well. But, you know, this could be better suited, you know, in another home. I am going to just donate this to the local place that I donate, you know, clothing and stuff to. Um, it's not super specific and it's really not something that's like super trendy where I'd want to you know, donate it to like a, a dress place or whatever. So anyways, <laughs> that's the first item I'm getting rid of. So goodbye, graduation dress. Next item is this. <laughs> you guys are probably like, what the heck is this thing? This is my senior high school prom dress. I uh, was lucky enough to go to three different proms. I went my sophomore, junior, and senior year. And in my school, you could only go if you were a junior or senior. And um, I got invited as a sophomore. So anyways, I don't have any of those dresses, but I do have this one. And ugh, <laughs> so hard to show. It is tiny, guys. It's tiny. I don't even know. The other dress is a size four. And this one, I have no idea. Like... I was a bean pole in high school. This is an extra small. <laughs> Look, like it still has the dry clean tag. Like, yeah, clearly never worn it since. Actually, I did wear this two times. Um, I went to a government, almost like a government conference or something when I was um, in high school. And I actually did it in middle school too. And it was called Youth in Government. And they had like a formal night every time. Sorry, it's like so heavy and it's like, on my lap, it keeps sliding off. And I did wear it to the Youth and Government Formal Night, um, which was, I think in Jan, yeah, it was in January, and then I wore this also in, you know, whenever prom was, like in the spring. So anyway, but yeah, very, uh, very 90s. It's got like a crisscross in the back. It is so hard to show you guys, but it is like full beaded, emerald green, super low back because, you know, I guess I was scandalous like that. <laughs> um, and then the bottom is just like all of these beads, like all the way down. And then there's a slit just on the side in the front. So yeah, this is like probably not the trendiest thing at the moment. So again, I'm just gonna like donate this to just my local 
place. Um, like I know that you can donate like prom dresses and some pretty nice dresses to organizations that give to kids that don't have, you know, like uh, the funds to, you know, go to prom and stuff like that. But anyway, since these are all 20 years old, it's time for these to go. All right, so now that we're down memory lane, I have some other memory lane things and I talked to my mom about this already and my mom is not upset that I'm getting rid of those two dresses but she is very mad that I'm getting rid of these but I asked her I said well do you want them and she said no I'm like well there you go so uh, hold on this is a situation in here hold on I've had this garment bag for a long long time like this garment bag has been around. It's been to a lot of different states with me. Still never done anything with the things inside the bag. Oh my gosh, this is, this is taking a hot minute. Give me a second. Let me do these in order because that makes the most sense. I was a Girl Scout from, well, I started out as a daisy and that was in, I wanna say kindergarten. Yeah, that was in kindergarten. And then um, I did it through middle school and I also, went to cadet so i have a lot of uniforms and my mom is quite upset that i want to get rid of these again i'm not planning on having any children of my own really to me the only reason to keep these is to maybe like show your kids one day i just don't see the value in them um i do really enjoy them but i don't ever look at them or anything you know the last time I looked at these was probably five years ago maybe I don't know and that was just to check to see what the heck was in the garment bag but, uh, I did talk with my local Girl Scout organization and I asked I'm like hey you know I'm 38 I have these uniforms from a long long time ago would you be interested in you know if I donated them to you would they like actually go to like you know, a good use if someone could actually take a look at them or put them on display or whatever. And they're like, oh yeah, yeah, we take old uniforms all the time and you know, they uh, use it for their historical record. I'm like, awesome. So after this video, I'm actually going to um, donate these, which I'm excited about. But let me undo some of the pins that are in here. So we're gonna go in order. So Daisy is first and you get a little smock, at least <laughs> again, I'm 38. I don't know what the uniforms look like anymore, but it's like a little smock and it's got these little pockets and it says Daisy Girl Scouts and there's the little pin and then on the sides there's little ties on either side. So super, super cute. I'm actually going to just, um, actually, you know what, I'm going to just leave these on the hanger and I will just give them the bag because... I don't know what to do with a garment bag at the moment because I don't have anything to put in there. So that was the first year. And then after that, you were a brownie for quite a while. So, hold on, I'm moving things. So I actually have a full brownie outfit. Um, yeah, so this goes kind of around the collar. Hold on, let me, let me see if I can do this All right. This goes around the collar and then you have the shirt and I had the little sweater which has a little patch on it. So, so, so cute. And then the little jumper and then on the pocket it says Brownie Girl Scouts. And then um, like it's, you know, like a button jumper. And then this is where you put, I don't know, something at some point, I don't know. But I have the full outfit. I also have the sash which I will show you guys. Cause this is where things get kind of fun because you got to like earn badges and stuff so this was my sash and um i was in troop number 179 and then these are all the patches that i earned as a brownie and then on the back um some of the other things that were on there that weren't like an earned patch um if there were things that we went to or you know, whatever um like i just have like a random girl scout button um and things like that so yeah cookies um in, in 1988 yeah it's a patch from 1988 this is one from 1989 another 89 and then this is these are both from 1990 because it says 90 on them so anyway this is really cool but again i don't need this in my life anymore um so yeah but kind of fun right all right and then 
we get into the juniors and this has like a, a hat with it so i'm gonna I'm gonna pull that hat off so you can see it. Um, this was actually my brother's hat. It like literally says his name on there. <laughs> um, so yeah, sorry Phil, I'm getting rid of your hat. Um, so anyway, ooh, let's see. Oh wow, this is tight. This is tight. This is for a little kid. Okay, um, my brother used to actually come. See, it has a little brownie. Um, he. Uh, used to come to some of the events because there was a couple of other girls that had brothers around his age that he was friends with so he would come to some of our events so he would wear his little hat when he did that so anyway so here is my juniors vest and I was very excited about a vest so this is what it looks like I have like a little green ribbon over here so I was troop number 14 and here are all of the patches um, that I earned. There's actually a couple over here that you can't see. There you go. See all the fun patches. I don't know. I don't know anything really about Girl Scouts anymore since like I don't have a kid or whatever. I don't know if they still have the same patches. I mean, they totally might. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, and then on the back again are like just things that we went to or things that we did. So I'll just show you what the back looks like. Yep, it's a lot of things. And then let's see if there's anything interesting in here. Hmm, you never know. Ooh, 91, 1990. Cool. So anyway, that is my junior's um, vest. And then the last piece that I have is my cadet sash. And I wasn't a cadet for very long. I want to say it was maybe only one or two years. I just got too busy with being in middle school and I had a lot of other like extracurriculars and stuff going on. So I kind of had to pick and choose and I've been doing Girl Scouts for so long that I wanted to try something else new. So anyway, here is my sash. And then this sash actually came with like, you know, you could just like tie it. So anyway, uh, Troop 14, ooh, it has, I have like buttons on here that say things. And then I have this cute little gopher pin. Um, fun fact, my mom used to work at the University of Minnesota and their mascot is gophers. And then, um, yeah, these are all the patches that I had earned while I was a cadet. Uh, like I said, not too many, just because I wasn't in it for very long. And then on the back, um, are just some other random patches. So again, these are going to go to um, my local uh, Girl Scouts that I've already contacted. And so that is the one of the big sentimental purges. All right, y'all ready for my last thing? Photos. What do you do with photos? Um, I have a bin here and it's like, chocked full of photos and I did not grow up in the digital age of photos so I have all of these like random pictures oh y'all want to see me in that dress here you go that's me and that guy's name is Nathan I don't know what he's doing with his life now but that's Nathan anyway um yeah that's me in that uh prom dress there so yeah, I mean, I have all of these photos and like pictures of me in a dress. I don't know, another dance photo. Um, let's see, this is me and my friend Ashley. Uh, I don't know, just lots of, lots of photos, guys. I just, I don't know what to do with this. I just have no idea. Oh, I was a cheerleader once. <laughs> um, yeah, I, oh gosh, I just don't know what to do with any of this stuff. So I've actually been looking online and sorry, I'm like distracted because I'm like, ooh, which photos are these and which photos are these? Um, I've been looking online at like a specific photo scanner because I do have in my office, a printer with a scanner, 
but it's not necessarily for photos. It doesn't have like the best quality. So I've actually been looking at a couple of different uh, options on Amazon. So if you guys have options of photo scanners that have a really great resolution that you absolutely love, um, put them down in the comments and like, it'd be super appreciative if you had like links and stuff. Um, like this is a picture of my grandma. Like, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, I, ugh. there's just so many things in here and just, I don't know, like birthday parties from like 1980, I don't know, seven, probably 88, something like that. Um, this is drunk Emily and probably drunk Courtney, my friend. Hi, Courtney, if you're watching. I don't know if you watch my videos, but there you go. Um, but yeah, so uh, I really want to dump all these photos, but I clearly want to have digitals first. So this is like my big project to do. I'm, my goal is to get this complete before the end of the year, but first thing I need is a photo scanner. So again, if you guys know of any photo scanners that you absolutely love, link them in the comments for me. So anyway, that is going to be it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. These are all the sentimental items that I'm going to be purging. All of the clothing and uh, Girl Scout stuff is actually going to be leaving like right now. And then the photos, like I said, I'm just going to have to do, oh, you know what? Here, it's like I'm finding new things. This, this little girl right here, that's me at the very end, looking like a sour puss face. Yep, that was me in my brownie, or not brownie uniform, my um, daisy uniform. So, yep, I was uh, in kindergarten then. <laughs> so anyway, okay, I need to, I need to stop, I need to stop. Oh, oh, hold on, I have one more to show you and then I'm done. This is um, me, hold on, whoop. That is me wearing that high school graduation dress that I talked about. Um, at that point, it was really, really hot in our um, school, and I had already taken off my robe because I was just, I was done. And uh, fun fact, these were um, two of the girls in my neighborhood. So um, yeah, that's like the only picture I have of me wearing that dress. All right, that's it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will probably be doing a follow-up video on the picture, like the photo situation, once I kind of get there. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to my baby.